Hello ladies and gents, today I'm going to show you how to import a number into VAPI. So in the, in the overview on the left hand side, you've got assistance and then you've got phone numbers. Now to import from Twilio, what you do is you click on import, you log into Twilio, you'll have to make a new account if you haven't done it yet. And what happens is you get a trial account. Once you've made a trial account, you will have, now it's not here for me anymore because I upgraded, but you'll have a trial here and it'll say like $15. And with this, you get a trial number. Okay, great. So if you scroll down, so I'm gonna just, every single link that I talked about in this specific order, I'm gonna leave it in the description below. So you just, you just can jump to everything, to whatever step you need. So scroll down and you need your account SID and it starts with the number AC. You just copy that, jump back into VAPI, paste it in, come back to Twilio, copy your auth token or your authentication token, copy that into here. Uh, and then we'll just call this trial number. And for me, copy. So we're back in Twilio, copy the number. Let's jump back in again. And you copy the number there and you just click on import from Twilio. And now what will happen is if you want to call anyone within Canada or uh, America or the US, that's fine. But what will happen is you will get uh, this error come up. It will say something to do with geographic permissions uh, and you need to you need to change those so if you want to call uh, yourself uh, Europe uh, let's say then you need to jump to this link so uh, you need to find this voice geographic permissions once you're in here in your Twilio account you type in the country that you're going to let uh, Twilio know that it's cool to call. So for me, I pick Poland, I'm in Poland currently, and I just press this tick. Now this lets it know that this is a low risk uh, country to call, and it actually also gives you a price breakdown. So this is what you'll still be paying uh, from your trial account per minute on top of the VAPI costs. So yeah, now you can, um, Type in your European number and can actually call, uh, just select the assistant, outbound call, and just to show you guys that it's actually gonna work, outbound call, and I'm just gonna cancel it. So this is one way. Uh, another way to do this is uh, if you just wanna call people, uh, if you're in the US or you're in Canada, what you can do in the easiest way is just to buy a trial number on VAPI and no biggies there. You just buy this, you put in the area code of where you are in the US and just buy a number. That's the easiest. You don't have to play around with Twilio at all. Done. It did not work for Poland though. So I'm assuming all European countries also will not work using the VAPI number. So what if you actually want to set up a proper European number for like a customer or, or your or a client and you, you want to make this work for them. So what you have to do is do a few things. You got to jump into this page here and have a look at the phone number regulations for the country that you want to work with. I'm going to pick Poland because that's the one that I've just finished doing it for and Poland's in the European Union. So the rules might be, um, I'm assuming the same for all the other countries. So I'm clicking on, I just clicked on Poland. And if you go down to the mobile numbers, because this is what we'll be using. Okay, so then if you go down to the mobile numbers, you need some documentation to actually make this work. So what I've done is I've set up my, uh, so here what we need is our proof of identity and you even need a government issued ID and in Poland or a passport if you're not a, an EU citizen. Uh, there is no docs required for the address, but 
I still put it, you still have to put on your address at one point here anyway. So once you've got the ID, let's now jump into where you actually buy the number. So uh, what I did is I went United States, phone numbers, went down to buy phone number, and then I just searched Poland in this. And then what happens here is you get to pick a number from here, uh, click on buy, and uh, it says here I'll be charged immediately and then for addition four dollars a month in addition to the usage you will incur on the phone number so you do get paid uh, you do get charged on this uh, you go next and you go through the questionnaire here and here there's these thing called bundles so before you click anything here you actually need to set up uh, bundles so if you don't have an approved bundle you can create one yeah I'll just show you how that looks like So I've already done this, so I'm not gonna go through and actually submit for review, but click on individual uh, for now, uh, just because I'm not actually creating it for a business at the moment, uh, I am creating it for, for myself, just for testing purposes. So we need you to provide information to the, uh, about the individual that'll be using these. So add information, and then here you add in your first name and then last name, these are needed. So I'm just gonna, for the sake of it, Bob. Now the thing you'll need is a government issued ID and the supporting documents gave me a bit of an issue. What I didn't realize is that, uh, so, so I do have this. When you click on upload, what you have to do is upload the back and the front of your ID on one document. Um, so just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna upload uh, just going to upload an image and then the name and your last name I'm going to put in some random document number obviously this will be your actual document number that you have on your ID <coughs> Then you go next. I'll give this a name. I, I usually get rid of these so that it's easy to track later. Um, go next. And then you set up your notifications here and you click on submit review. They were fairly quick with me. They were like under 24 hours response time. What you do is now you can actually go back and assign this bundle. So this is the bundle that I made. Then you would click on this. You would also um, have to create an address in your account. So how I did that is I just clicked on this link and then jumped into here. And you go create new address and here's your address here and you just declare it. Okay, so once you've got your regulatory bundle, you've got your address, you've assigned your address and then you just click on buy. And then the process is the same as before uh, to import it into Appy. So what you would do is you will click on my first Twilio account or whatever it's called up here for you just in this exact spot on the top left. Scroll down and then in this section, you've got view all numbers. You, cl you click on this and you get a bunch of numbers that are coming up here. So you just copy this number and then you would go back into Vapi, you would import, import the number, whatever number you have. Uh, and then go back to my first Twilio account. And at the bottom, you still need your uh, account SID. So you copy this and then you copy your auth token. And what you do is you paste it into this section and this section and just go import from Twilio. So now you've got a trial Twilio account or number. You can call any country with it as long as you've assigned the geographic permissions there in your Twilio account. However, this does use your Twilio credits. If you want to call or be called like within a local area and actually get it set up for a proper business or client, I would recommend buying the local number for that country. Uh, this includes you going through the whole regulatory bundle and upgrading your Twilio account and setting up your geo permissions and putting in your address. Um, 
the the setup will take you probably two or three days before they approve it and all that it will actually look uh, more legit because you're can't calling within that local area most easiest way not including twilio at all you just buy the number within vapi and you can call uh, us and canada numbers and i did just try it it works for australia as well uh, so that was quite nice um, i want to see i want to talk to vapi and see if we can if we buy this phone number if we can just uh, maybe they could set up the geographic permissions for us because we don't want that red error to come up again um, then maybe we could call European numbers and then just if you guys want to test stuff you don't have to play around with all this Twilio setup right thank you very much for watching and signing out